something simple today. I'm going to make a simple pizza sauce, actually. It's sort of like a marinara sauce, but it's thicker. I'm going to get rid of some of the moisture in it, and it tends to be spicier. More herbs, and you can make this as spicy as you want. Some people add cayenne. They add red pepper flakes. I don't like it too spicy, but I need some pizza sauce. So, and I'm going to make this in my sun oven outdoors because it's not even noon yet, and it's already 90 degrees outside. So I'm not going to heat up my home making sauce. I'll do it outside in my sun oven. So let's make pizza sauce. One thing I learned in an Italian cooking course I took for nine months, make your sauce first in a blender. Get it all blended up and then cook it. Makes it a lot easier. I have some Cento San Marzano tomatoes and I'm going to carefully dump those in there. Pardon the noise. Okay, that should be good enough. I got enough of it out. And then I have some herbs from my herb garden. Not much parsley because my parsley is in my second year. It's second year. So it's going to seed now and I'll plant the seeds and parsley lives for two years. The first year you get parsley. The second year you get a lot of parsley as it goes to seed and then the plant dies. So parsley, fresh oregano, again from outdoors. Gonna pull off some leaves. I don't like the looks of that one, but I'll pull these leaves off. Some basil, again, from my little garden outside. My garden is a bunch of pots on my deck. And if you have um, dried herbs, feel free to use them. And then I don't have an onion, but what I do have from outside is a green onion that I cleaned up. I'm going to cut the root section off. And I'm just going to cut some pieces of the white area of the onion. Yes, that's a plane going overhead. Oh, and I don't have any garlic, but I do have garlic powder. So I'll put some garlic powder in there. Put the lid on and then turn my blender on, starting at number one. You could add some tomato paste to that if you want to. I don't have any tomato paste. I will have some. I'm going to order some. I order all my food from Amazon now. Start it. And then have a look at it. Yeah, see, I can see chunks of herbs in there. That's pretty good, actually. I like that idea because I'll see pieces of herb in my pizza sauce. But that's well blended up. I don't have a lot there, but that was from just one can of tomatoes. This wasn't a really big can. 28 ounces, 794 grams. This is one of the pans that came with my sun oven. I washed it out this morning because I've never used it before. It's two quart. I'm going to order a four quart uh, separately, a different one um, that I think will work fine. I don't have much here, so I don't need a big pan. What is that? That's probably no more than pint, pint and a half. Um, maybe with a spatula, I can help out a little bit more. Why waste any? This is good stuff. All right, I'm going to put the lid on this and I'm going to take this out to my sun oven, which is out in the sun right now, warming up. I'm just going to cook it kind of slowly. I won't aim the oven so that it gets the most direct energy from the sun. I'll aim it a lot off a little bit to keep it between, say, 250 and 300 degrees to kind of more slow cook this, because I'm going to leave this out there most of the day. Here is my sun oven preheating in my driveway. I'd like to see that in a recipe. Preheat your oven to 300 degrees in your driveway. <laughs> okay, maybe not. 
Uh, this here is the hottest my oven got during the early afternoon, 280 degrees. Again, I wasn't trying to cook at the highest temperature because I just wanted to simmer my sauce. Then later in the day, the sky started to cloud up a little, but there was still enough sunlight to maintain a cooking temperature. You don't need a perfectly cloudless sky. My pizza sauce was still simmering at 220 degrees. And here is a picture of my sauce gently bubbling in my oven. Here we are from out of, whoops, the sun oven. Let's see, is that hot? Yes, that's hot. It should be. Don't have a good grip of it, though. There we go. And I'm going to do a close-up so you can see the little craters in there. That's where it has been bubbling. And it looks like it's getting thick. I need to take a taste of that. Here's my infamous red-handled tasting spoon. But this is going to... Oh, look how thick that is. That's going to be... See, it's not runny like a, a spaghetti sauce. That's what I want. Something a little thick for a pizza sauce. And one nice thing about cooking in a, in a uh, sun oven is you don't have to worry about things burning on the bottom because there's no heat from underneath. It's basically sitting in this humid oven. I've been waiting for this to cool down a little bit because this is going to be hot. <laughs> That's good. Now what I can taste about that is, I can definitely taste the tomatoes, of course. It's a tomato sauce. But I can taste that herbiness that you want from a pizza sauce. So I can taste a little bit of the garlic in there, but I can taste the oregano in there. Oregano is like the pizza spice. It'll need a little bit of salt, but I'll deal with that later on. Um, but that's actually pretty good. That's actually very good. So that's my pizza sauce that I made in my solar oven. Um, I'll write up the recipe and I'll put it on my website, mobilehomegourmet.com. And one other additional point, you might be wondering, why would I make pizza sauce when it's 95 degrees outside? It's too hot to heat the oven up to make pizza, and I wouldn't make pizza in the sun oven because it doesn't get hot enough to make a crispy pizza crust. It's because I like to make my no oven skillet pizza. Look it up on YouTube and my website, no oven skillet pizza. I do it all in a skillet on top of the stove. And I've heard from people who have made the pizza. And one person said it was the best pizza she ever tasted. I'll leave that for you to decide. But that's why I'm making pizza sauce, is to make no oven skillet pizza.